Good day, everybody. This is uh, Dr. Nandi. Today we are going to talk about uh, standard deviation confidence interval two. Okay. So without further ado, I'll share my computer screen with you. So we want to find the confidence interval for variance and standard deviation. Okay. Uh, our sample size is 30. Sample standard deviation is 1.3. Sea level is 0.9. So sea level being 0.9, level of significance alpha is 1 minus C is 1 minus 0.99, which is 0 0.01. We divide it into two equal parts. Alpha by 2 is 0 0.01 divided by 2, 0.005 in the left tail and 0 0.005 area in the right tail. Area in the center is 0 0.99. The unshaded region in the curve, this is the chi-square curve, is where most probably the uh, variance, population variance will fall. Now, the chi-square uh, left is given by the symbol chi-square 0.995. How come? Because chi-square is always as a subscript of the area to the right of it. Now, remember area in the left tail is 0 0.005. So area to the right of this critical value of chi-square separating the left tail from the central region is one minus 0 0.005, which is the area to the right of it is 0.995. Similarly, the right critical value of chi-square, which has an area of 0 0.005 in the right tail to the right of it is chi-square 0 0.005, okay? Earlier, we have found out that for degrees of freedom, 29 chi-square 0.995 is 13.121 and chi-square 0 0.005 is 52.326, okay? So with this information, we will use the uh, formula for the confidence interval for the population variance as n minus one times S square divided by chi-square alpha by two, less than sigma square, less than n minus one times S square divided by chi-square one minus alpha by two. So chi-square alpha by two is the right critical value. Chi-square one minus alpha by two is the left critical value of chi-square. And we substitute the value in the two lower boundary and the upper boundary. We get 30 minus one sample size minus one multiplied by standard deviation square, which is 1.3 square divided by 52.326, which is the right critical value of chi-square less than sigma square less than 30 minus one times 1.3 squared divided by 13.121, which is the chi-square critical value in the left tail. And we simplify further 29 times 1.69 divided by 52.326 is the lower boundary for the variance and the upper boundary for the variance interval is 29 times 1.69 divided by 13.121. When you simplify, it, the lower boundary works out as 0.9366 and the upper boundary works out as 3.735. What does it mean? With 99% confidence, we can state that the actual population variance will fall between 0.936 and 3.735. Now, how do we calculate the confidence interval for standard deviation? Now, standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So we take square root on all sides of that inequality, we get square root of 0.9366 less than square root of sigma square, less than square root of 3.7352, which works out to 0 0.9678 is the lower boundary for the 99% confidence interval for the standard deviation and the upper boundary for the 99% confidence interval for the standard deviation is 1.933. So what do these two numbers mean? With 99% confidence, we can state that the actual population standard deviation will fall between 0.968 and 1.933. So I will stop here today. If you have any question, you can write a comment or send me an email. I have my email address listed also. And please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner of the screen. Thanks for watching. Take care and I will see you next time.